Rudrush is asking, where do you draw the line between patriotism and nationalism slash jingoism? That's an interesting question. What do you think, Armin? I need to think for a second. I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. I've noticed that different people have different definitions for nationalism, okay? Um, so because people and everybody thinks like, oh, no, this is nationalism. Or people are like, no, no, this is nationalism. And they're so convinced that their definition is the correct one, okay? Um, and given that I've seen so many different definitions for these words, um, instead of like defining going like oh this is this is the difference and this is and that's why i don't know nationalism is bad or pa but patriotism is good or vice versa instead of doing that i always just go like okay if this is what you mean i'm against it if this is what you mean i'm for it okay so instead of like throw out all the words okay because people seem to disagree on the definitions and like there's three different categories of what could be either described as patriotism or nationalism and one of them it's neither good or bad, okay? One of them is bad, and one of them is good, okay? So there's three, I have three versions, okay? So the one that is neither good or bad, okay, in my opinion, and you can enjoy it if you like. If you like it, you enjoy it. If you don't like it, you don't have to. You should, you should, you should, you should just not condemn the people who don't feel like that, okay? So this is the neutral one. The neutral one is that if you have some degree of nostalgia, for things that are associated with your country, some degree of um, you enjoy the culture, the poetry, the colors, the smell, the the history. It gives you a sense of, I don't know, there's some sense of familiarity, some sense of belonging. There's a food that you eat, like even like out, if you're outside of the country, when you get when you see the art from there or you, you eat from the food from there you get this sense of like happiness and joy okay i'm i'm trying to not use the word pride okay just this in this this is sense of like oh i'm home now okay like you feel like this homeness okay and this is like my childhood my upbringing everything like and you and you, 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 you all those positive feelings right uh, and you want to enjoy that then you can enjoy that, okay? Or like if you hear the poetry from your, oh, you can, like these are the songs of my people, all right? <laughs> Something like that, right? Like, um, but, um, or you, yeah. So all of that is it's just harmless fun and enjoyment. If you, you know, the dance, the music, the poetry, the food, the colors, the art, um, you know, the history. If you just have this desire to enjoy all of that, um, and it just happens to be the place you're born, there's no harm in enjoying all of that, okay? But at the same time, if somebody doesn't enjoy that and you condemn them of being less of, you know, your fellow countrymen, you feel like, oh, you're less American or less Iranian or you're, I don't know, less Egyptian because of you not enjoying this or not liking this, then you need to cut that shit out. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If somebody doesn't enjoy it, even though they're from there, that's just not their cup of tea and that's fine okay so that's the brand of nationalism or whatever you want to call it of things that is neither harmful or harmless if you enjoy it go for it if you don't don't okay so that's version number one version number two which is harmful is the version of nationalism that you associate people that happen to be born within these, within these borders as somehow superior and, and more deserving of defend defending and more deserving of rights or more deserving and you you want them to come out ahead of people um outside of those borders right so you're like these are these are the people within this country they're superior they're better um you make collective claims about them right you're saying like oh they're smarter they're braver anything like and then if there's a conflict or if there's any disagreement you just happen to take the side of the people that are uh, born within that border, that area, just because you're also like, it's a form of tribalism, right? Um, it, it, could, it, it could get even more ugly by becoming, um, you, you feel some sense of ethnic superiority, uh, you know, cultural superiority. So it's, it's beyond, it's, it's now moved to not just like, oh, I enjoy it, 
No, it's just like no, it's inherently superior. It's inherently better. Okay, we're we're better than the rest of the people on this planet. Okay, and then people that you have no, idea, you have never met, and you've never are are not friends with, and know know nothing about. You just see them as your members of your own family for some reason, just because they happen to be born being born within this border, and then you defend them above other people just because they support they're your fellow countrymen or women. Okay, that is a toxic that is a that's extremely toxic that's extremely dangerous and that's a form of nationalism that uh, causes a lot of harm okay um you go from a humanist to to caring about humans in general as and trying to make the world a better place to all of a sudden just be like playing this zero sum game of like no we're we're in comp you we're, we're against other people like we we are it's us it's this country against the world and this we, you, you you all of a sudden are not trying to make the planet better, but only this country better. Okay, that is extremely dangerous, and you know, it's harm toxic to the planet. Okay, so um, now the the use the beneficial another thing that sometimes people talk about nationalism, and this one is not not it's not harmful, it's not neutral. This is actually a good thing, and I think I agree with that. Is that if you say I just believe in the in nations <laughs> you know what I mean? like if you think nationalism which some people maybe refer to it as civic nationalism is just what it's just the belief in the idea that nationhood and borders and the modern uh, idea of what a nation is right it's the best form of managing um different geographical areas right like this is the idea that came out of the age of enlightenment the idea this is this western european concept of a nation has been very beneficial into managing um vast areas of you know ge you know different different geographies like the way coming out with um you know yeah there's nothing that has been better like every ever since we came up with the idea of a nation state um any any uh, every every area on the planet that didn't just accepted that model was so left behind that it, it soon became apparent that if you don't if you don't accept this model like the whole world is now abiding by it right the idea of a nation state came out of uh, the, uh, the age of enlightenment and the ideas that came out of you know the late 1800s western europe um it became so apparent that this is the way to manage um countries in a way that soon there's nowhere in the world that is not adapting that's uh, that structure anymore right it, it, so i do believe in borders i do believe in nations um it is the best way to run everything however that doesn't mean just because you, you accept that this model works that doesn't mean that you all of a sudden you uh, make the the borders sick the borders are not sacred the people within this border are not superior to um, beyond the people like that are outside of this border there's nothing special about it this is just a very effective way of managing the world okay so you, if you believe in the utility of that the belief in, the belief in utility of that if you call that nationalism then i agree with that i i i am a civic nationalist or whatever you want to call it um but that's just that's as far as i go i do believe in the utility of nations right so those are the i categorize that into those three sections there neutral the harmful and the useful one does that make sense yeah you covered about every aspect of that <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i'll just leave it there atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.